Okay, it's tricky when you're recording something live. You always do it wrong. So we'll try this over again. So this is how you start coiling. Start your coil for your pine needle basket. You put your needles that you've removed the caps from into the gauge and you can use smaller sizes or bigger sizes but just until they're snug in there. You put the cap end through first and you're going to have your needles hanging out to the left side unless you are left handed then you'll do it the opposite of what I just said. So just put a few in there so it's snug. You can't add any more. So that's pretty snug right there. Then I'm going to pull my gauge down about two to three inches, depending if you want a circular basket bottom. You're going to make it a shorter distance because you're going to bend this first coil on itself. If you want an oval bottom, you're going to make, pull this out a little longer so that when you bend it back on itself, you have more of a start. It's an oval shape. You'll see that after we start to wrap some thread around it. So you have as many needles as you can get in your gauge. And then you take your thread, the needle that you've threaded, take the very end of the thread and let it line up right next to your needles, right there. And you're going to begin wrapping right here where the gauge is, okay? Keeping your loose needles to your left. Just wrap around it like that. So you're wrapping this loose end in with your needles. Okay, just wrap it all the way to the end. And you can make your uh, wraps a little tighter than that if you like. I'm just doing it so that you don't have to watch a super long video. And then we're going to bring it back down towards the gauge. Wrap it back to the other, the other direction. Okay. Now you're going to start by stitching this end to this end of your wrapped section. And so you just bend it back on itself. And again, you always want your needles to be coming out to the left. Okay. So now, give myself a little extra yarn. Now you can attach this loose end and just kind of start by making a circle. And I'm going to go ahead and close this loop and I just bring the needle up through the bottom of my wrap so it comes right through the center. Okay. And then I bring it, I'm going to bring it back down through the center of the wrap on the other side and that'll pull those two pieces together. Okay, Bring it up through the center or approximately. It's quite hard to watch your hands and watch the camera to make sure it stays in focus. Okay, so you get the idea. We're slowly kind of pulling that first loop together, tightening it up. And there's more than one way to do this. You don't have to do it this way. This is just kind of how I started doing it. And okay. Now, as you begin, if this is loose, you know, you need to add more needles. So you'll just poke them in through the center of the bundle, inside that little straw. Push them in there about as far as you can. And then pull the gauge out. If it's snug, you have enough needles. And then, now I, wish I want my thread back here where I started, so I'm just going to push it back through all the way through the middle. Whatever you need to do to get your thread back to the point where you're closer to where your gauge is. Okay? So now my thread is here. And now we're going to start coiling, and I'm wrapping around uh, counterclockwise. So. I bend this around and I bring my needle up through the center and anchor those coils or that first row of coils to the center. Okay. 
pull the gauge out a little bit as I'm working. When your needles are wet, it doesn't want to slide. Okay, so you can see the first U shape we made here. And now I just bent these unbound needles in the gauge around that loop to my left. And I just keep working by bringing the yarn down behind this row and up through the back of the wrapped center. Okay, I came up through the center. Then you'll see as I tighten that, it's tightening up this new set of needles to the center. And then I'm going to bring that around again and up through the center of the wrap section. Keeps going out of focus, but my needle is coming up through the middle of that wrap section from the back. And then the thread is just going to tighten up on there. Okay? And that's the beginning of our coil. And we'll just progress by going ahead and wrapping around this way. And just keep on stitching and anchoring that new coil around and up through the center of the previous coil with your needle.